So again, I just want to share uh, Proverbs 31, continuing in the virtuous woman or the virtuous man. And we learned a lot of principles from that. But let's read it again. Proverbs chapter 31, beginning with verse 10. It says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. So we want to check this out. Her price, her value, her price is far above rubies, friends. So we want to discuss this portion because we already gave some principles of a virtuous woman, a virtuous man. And so let us go to our first text uh, beginning in the book of Job. Job chapter 28 to see that her price is far above rubies the church's price job chapter 28 and we're going to be starting with verse 12 it says but where shall wisdom be found and where is the place of understanding so again uh, it, it brings forth the question, where shall wisdom be found and where is the place of understanding? Just like it said in Proverbs 31 and verse 10, who can find a virtuous woman? Where is this virtuous woman? Where is uh, wisdom? Where is understanding? Then it continues to read Job chapter 28 and verse 13 it says man knoweth not the price thereof neither is it found in the land of the living so we just read that her price in proverbs 31 and verse 10 is far above rubies but it says man knoweth not the price thereof neither is it found in the land of the living the depth saith it is not in me and the sea saith it is not with me it cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof. Then it says, verse 16, It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it, and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. No mention shall it be made of coral or of pearls, for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The price of wisdom is above rubies, friends. Her price is far above rubies. Guess what else is far above rubies? It is wisdom. So this virtuous woman has wisdom in her life that she is more valuable than rubies, all rubies, and all of the other goals that it was mentioning. So it mentioned at least five or six different type of golds and, and precious stones. But it says that wisdom is far greater than all of these. So let's look at another text where it kind of confirms this. And it's a lot of text through Proverbs that we'll see that wisdom, friends, wisdom is above rubies. Back in Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 3 famous chapter of verses 5 and 6 of trust in the Lord with all thine heart lean not unto thine own understanding but in all thy ways acknowledge him he shall direct thy paths but we're going to Proverbs 3 and verse 13 Proverbs 3 and verse 13 and it says happy is the man that findeth wisdom you want to have happiness in your life find wisdom then it says and the man that getteth understanding for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and gain thereof fine gold so again it's comparing wisdom it's comparing understanding far better than gold far better than silver then it says she is more precious than rubies Ruth was more precious than rubies because she had wisdom, friends. She had wisdom. And then it says, All and all things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her, 
Nothing can compare to wisdom. It's far greater than all the precious stones, friends. Let us go to Proverbs chapter 8 now. Proverbs chapter 8, and we're just building upon this. We're just seeing this line upon line. So Proverbs 8 and verse 11, it says, For wisdom is better than rubies. There it goes again, friends. It's clear. Wisdom is better than rubies, and all things that thou mayest be desired are not to be compared to it. Whatever you desire that's valuable in life, nothing compares to it than wisdom. So get wisdom, get understanding because it's far above rubies. And the Proverbs 31 woman, the Proverbs 31 man is far above rubies. Their price is far above rubies. Uh, Proverbs chapter 20 now. Look what it says. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 15. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 15 it says there is gold and a multitude of rubies but the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel if you remember where we last left off in proverbs 31 and in verse uh, 10 when we were describing the virtuous woman it says that she is a virtuous woman is a uh, jewel in the crown of Christ. We had read that. So look what it says in Proverbs chapter 11 now. Proverbs 11 to get more understanding of this. Proverbs 11 and verse 30. Proverbs 11 and verse 30 it says the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life and he that winneth souls she that winneth souls is wise they have wisdom friends so one part that confirms even what we were describing about Ruth how she worked day and night in the field harvesting gathering she was doing gospel work friends day and night and then it says he that winneth souls is wise this is why she is far above rubies her price is far above rubies friends first corinthians what is this wisdom then that ruth has what is this wisdom that we may obtain to as we fully seek for it first corinthians chapter 1 look what it says in verse 30 first corinthians 1 and verse 30 it says but of him are ye in christ jesus who of god is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption that according as it is written he that glorieth let him glory in the lord friends when it says to seek out wisdom to find understanding it's meaning to seek out christ within your life spend time in his word and share that word so that you may find that wisdom evangelism is wisdom christ in your life is wisdom christ was made wisdom for us so ruth this is why she was this is why she was truly a virtuous woman is because she had christ fully in her life and she was seeking after the truth as it is in jesus and this is what makes her, what makes a virtuous woman, what makes a virtuous man, their price far above rubies, their value far above rubies. Nothing can compare it when we have Christ in our life. Second Timothy to confirm. Second Timothy and we're going to go to chapter three. 2 Timothy chapter 3 
and verse 15. It says, And that from a child thou hast known the scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Jesus Christ. So through the scriptures, through Jesus Christ, through evangelism, we may obtain to wisdom and wisdom is above rubies. Wisdom is above gold. Wisdom is above silver. Our value increases as we spend time with Christ, fully accepting Him and having Him in our lives and spreading the love that we receive from Him to others. And I just want to close with um, Christ Object Lessons. Christ Object Lessons, and this is coming from page 115. Christ Object Lessons 115. Look what it says. It says, this is a chapter 9 speaking about the pearl, the pearl of great price. The blessings of redeeming love our Savior compared to a precious pearl. He illustrated his lesson by the parable of the merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Then it says Christ himself is the pearl of great price. In him is gathered all the glory of the Father, the fullness of the Godhead. He is the brightness of the Father's glory and the express image of his person. The glory of the attributes of God is expressed in his character. Every page of the Holy Scripture shines with his light. The righteousness of Christ as a pure white pearl has no defect no stain, no work of man can improve the great and precious gift of God. It is without flaw. In Christ are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. There it goes again, friends. That's Colossians 2 and verse 3. He is made unto us wisdom and righteousness, sanctification and redemption. All that can satisfy the needs and longings of the human soul for this world and the world to come is found in Christ. Our Redeemer is the pearl so precious that in comparison, all things else may be accounted loss. There is nothing greater than wisdom. Wisdom is Christ. Wisdom in Christ. And it is far greater than rubies. Look what it continues to read. The merchant man in the parable represents a class who are sincerely desiring truth. Isn't this talking about Ruth, friends? Isn't it talking about this virtuous woman that we gave the example of? She was earnestly desiring the truth. She wanted to be a part of God's people by saying to Naomi, your God will be my God. I will go where you go. The parable of the merchant man seeking goodly pearls has a double significance. It applies not only to men as seeking the kingdom of heaven, but to Christ as seeking his lost inheritance. Christ, the heavenly merchant man seeking goodly pearls, saw in lost humanity the pearl of great price. In man, defiled and ruined by sin, he saw the possibilities of redemption. Hearts that have been the battleground of the conflict with Satan and, and that have been rescued by the power of love are more precious to the Redeemer than of those who have never fallen. This is why we are of a great price. Higher than rubies, friends, is because we are defiled with sin, but Christ wants to redeem us. He wants us to be jewels in his crown. We'll continue to read. It says, 
God looked upon humanity not as vile and worthless. He looked upon it in Christ, saw it as it might become through redeeming love. He collected all the riches of the universe and laid them down in order to buy the pearl because we are greater than the riches of the universe. We are greater than the gold, the silver, the onyx, the pearls. It says, Jesus, having founding it, resets it in its own diadem, for they shall be as the stones of a crown, lifting up as an ensign upon his land. They shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. This is what we read, what we ended off in, in Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 10, where we were mentioning about the virtuous woman us being jewels in God's crown. We have far greater worth than rubies. We have far greater worth than diamonds, than any precious stone that you may think of. So I just encourage you to seek wisdom, seek understanding because it is far greater than rubies. Seek after Christ in your life. Spend time in His Word and share so that we may be the virtuous man and the virtuous woman that God ought us to be. God bless.